Okay, kids, hi. Um, I want to talk about your unit five exams. Um, as always, to calculate your score, you would take your multiple choice score um, and uh, add that to double the raw free response score. Uh, if you look in NEO now, the number in the free response column is the number you got right doubled. So if you got 10 out of 11, Neo will say 20. And if you got a one out of 11, Neo will say two. Um, if you go to AP Classroom, you'll see your raw score. If you go to Neo, you'll see that doubled. So multiple choice plus your doubled free response is your total. And if you divide that by the curve, which on this exam was 41, you'll see your percentage. Um, there were 47 points possible on this exam. One student got a 47, which is pretty rad. Um, there was a kid with a 45, I think, and a couple 43s and a couple 42s, but we set the curve at 41 for this test. Uh, the average on the multiple choice was a 17, and the average on the free response was a 7, um, which is spectacular. On the AP test, this would give our students a class average of about a 4 on the AP test, which is actually what we historically get. So um, generally speaking, despite COVID, we're doing well. Uh, specific to the questions, I have some feedback. Oh, and by the way, there were uh, at least two students who triggered the um, cheating stuff and a couple of others that were in the yellow. So it looked like a couple of kids saw the right answers but didn't copy them. And it looked like at least two kids uh, won't be getting credit for their free response exam because they did copy. Um, You'll, if that was you, you can see that in the uh, comments um, where I talk to you about the exam, you know, the, uh, on the IPI classroom. Um, and those kids aren't eligible for test corrections. Everybody else is eligible for test corrections. Um, remember that you have to complete all the stuff in the unit. So this was unit five. You would have to complete all the unit five assignments. And then uh, you just get a paper, say, the thing you got wrong and the thing you got right with the question number on the side, make sure you break those up and I'll go through and I'll give you half credit for everything that you correct. Um, your test corrections have to include how you know you were right. So what was it about class? Um, uh, the book said this or here's the definition of um, what you think was the right answer. Um, general advice. Um, a lot of you restate the question instead of explaining why. So if I said, uh, which is better, shampoo or conditioner, you would say shampoo is better because it's better than conditioner. And that's just restating the question. Uh, you have to actually show reasoning. Um, and I notice a few of you did that badly on question D in particular in the free response. Um, you should always read your comments. A lot of times I'll give you feedback about that. Um, and be careful not to contradict yourself. A few of you said, um, I think it's either worse or it's better. And once you've said both, you're not right anymore. Um, you, you can't state two sides of something. It's either X or Y. Uh, you'll get zero points for that because you can't be right if you're also wrong. Um, let me see. Make sure that you separate the questions. Please make sure that you separate the questions. A is separate from B is separate. You're not answering an essay. You're answering four sentences or four sets of sentences. Uh, please separate them. Um, like I said, cheating is way down. I was encouraged to see that. Um, and in the free response, I was a little bit surprised that so many students did badly on the demographic transition. Um, I think it was question C in the free response. Um, 
the stuff that it was asking was straight from the notes. Birth and death rate are both high. Death rates fall, then birth rates fall later until they're both low. Um, I mean, a lot of you did fine, um, but that was the worst of the free response questions, and that surprised me a little bit. Um, also, a lot of you confused um, population growth with population stability um, in the first one in A. Um, and I think a few of you um, were either lazy about explaining incentives, you, you did not give good why answers, um, or perhaps you didn't understand what an incentive was, which again was directly from the lecture. Um, and I think a study goal as well. Um, in the uh, multiple choice questions, overall pretty solid, I have to say. Um, calculations were a problem. Uh, rule of 70 was a little spotty in a couple of periods. Uh, calculating percentage growth uh, seemed to be an obstacle. Um, uh, population growth stuff, um, looking at a graph that showed like logistic curve and carrying capacity, um, even though we went over that the day before the exam. Um, and a few definitions, um, bioremediation, uh, LD50, and replacement level fertility. Um, generally not horrible, but those were the questions where you did worst. Um, I have to say I was pretty satisfied uh, in terms of outcome. This was not a bad exam. Um, it's frustrating to see kids still trying to cheat, but um, whatever, maybe they're encouraged because they still haven't heard back from the last thing. Um, okay, yeah, uh, I guess that's it. Don't forget the um, test corrections are due this Friday before you take the unit six exam. Uh, and that's it. Um, thank you for watching the video. Um, see you soon.